All right, welcome back. You know, at this point, we always like to see what's trending online. News at 630 producer Nikki Bussey has done the work for us. And Nikki, you know, more on that famous baby in Hollywood right now, right? <laughs> oh, the life of famous babies. Oh, now, sure, yeah. Not only does Blue Ivy have famous parents, Michelle, now she has a famous godmother. Of course. Oprah Winfrey is going to be godmother for the daughter of Jay-Z and Beyonce. And the godfather is uh, Ty, Tyran, Ty Ty Smith. He's a good friend of Jay-Z's. Reports say they didn't actually want family members to do it. They wanted someone else to step in and take that role. I always thought it was proper to ask your family first. I did too, but, so I don't know. We'll see, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Oprah's not bad either, though. Exactly. I think <laughs> she could choice. take care of the child. Rihanna's new tattoo has people talking today. The singer tweeted this picture of herself with the words thug life on her knuckles. She tweeted last night. You know, because when you think thug, of course you think Rihanna, right? You know? I don't know. The tattoo, as you can see, is a faint scar-like pink imprint. Rapper Tupac Shakur had a similar tattoo on his stomach. This isn't Rihanna's first tattoo. Of course, she has several on her neck, wrist, and back. And she kept referencing Tupac in her tweets. Well, so. you know what? At least she's not going out trying to get a real job. Because I think that'd be hard to get a real job if you have yeah. thug life on your fingers. But maybe that's me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> thug Rihanna? I don't know. Another popular, popular topic today, Pat Sajak. He's admitted to being drunk on Wheel of Fortune back in the 80s. And then he ratted out Vanna White and said that she was actually often drunk with him. Oh my goodness. He said they'd go out to some long dinners and enjoy some margaritas, pound them back is what he said mm -hmm. in the early days of the show. And he joked that they'd actually even have trouble recognizing the alphabet. I bet they would if yeah. they were drunk. You know what? It's so funny because they both seem so straight laced. Straight it's really laced, hard yeah. to believe that they well, were. Well, then she released that book about smoking pot and all that stuff. I so. forgot about that. You're right. No. Gosh, you know, these people in entertainment, they're just crazy, aren't they? Who knows? <laughs> Having fun behind the scenes, apparently. Reports are surfacing about what actually happened to Demi Moore earlier this week. Looks like she was doing whippets before she was hospitalized. Mm. Apparently, that's a type of nitrous oxide inhalant. TMZ says she became semi-conscious and has symptoms of a seizure after inhaling too much. And by the way, Moore has also pulled out of her latest movie, Lovelace. She was set to play feminist icon Gloria Steinem. Wow. Which was supposed that's, to be a pretty big role for her. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I can't believe that she was doing a whip it, though. I, mm -hmm. I, you hear a lot about, uh, you know, like teenagers doing that kind of stuff. but Because it's cheap and... Wow. Easily available. Yeah. I don't know. It's just she just having a hard time with this breakup yeah. with Ashton, it seems like. Apparently. Oh well, well you wish her well. That's of sad course. though. All right. Thanks, Nikki. Okay, meteorologist Rob Ellis says uh, there could be a chance of some severe weather in the morning. He's gonna take a look at those chances and he'll explain in just two minutes. Stay with us.